evening. Tonight, we remember that this morning we lit the second candle in our Advent wreaths, the candle of peace. And I invite us to take a moment tonight to pray for peace. Often, how we begin our work for peace is by seeking peace in our hearts. By peace, I mean not calmness, but rather a deep desire for the well-being of the other. A sense of goodwill to all, as the angel song is, says. And so tonight I invite us to send out our sense of goodwill in ever-widening circles, beginning with ourselves and our loved ones and moving out to pray for the world. You can do that at your own pace if you wish, and if you're on Instagram, you'll be leaving us now. Or you can do it with me. I will offer ever-widening prompts, and let us join our hearts in prayer for peace in our world. We begin with a prayer for inner peace. Knowing that our work for peace is most grounded when we ourselves experience a sense of congruence and goodwill towards ourselves. Then we pray for peace in our families, with those who are closest to us, our dearest friends, the people who love sustains us. And we pray for peace in our community with the people we work with, go to school with, know as neighbors. In particular, this night we ask that we might have peaceful thoughts towards those we find difficult, the people we don't understand, the people we don't like. And we spread our circle of concern to our whole community, remembering especially those who are in need, who do not have the food, the shelter, the warmth that is vital. And we pray for our country, Canada for its indigenous peoples, for its new immigrants, for all those who call this place home. And we pray for our world, sending particular love to Bethlehem this night and to all the surrounding territory that is in the midst of so much grief and war. Prince of Peace, come and teach us your ways of peace this night and always, that we might truly sing with the angels. Peace.